Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a little update on the uh, version 1903 or the May 2019 update for Windows 10. So Microsoft has updated it. They do that all the time. They update the list of the CPUs or processors that are actually uh, compatible with the new version of Windows uh, every time there's a, a new version. And what's uh, interesting is that there's really no change in uh, what's happening uh, between the May 2019 update and previous versions. Every time there is a slight change and you know slight updates that would uh, render compatible or not a machine. And as some of you know, some CPUs were left off in, uh, in the past. So uh, here's the thing, in the May 2019 update, uh, Pretty much all the minimum requirements are the same, so the, that's good news if you have a PC that runs the April 2018 or the uh, October 2018 update, you're okay for the May 2019 update. There's really no change. There's uh, addition of new processors uh, that are, of course, um, in the uh, in, in in the works because of you know newer machines. Also, the fact that they added some Qualcomm stuff. Um, interestingly, they're not adding the latest Qualcomm chip, but uh, probably it will be updated at some point in work. So you're going to be okay if you're running a previous version of Windows for now on pretty much every machine that's running Windows 10. Also, considering uh, there's another thing, because a lot of people have been asking me, uh, is the uh, sets feature in the uh, May 2019 update. No, it's not. It's not, and it's not being tested right now because uh, we haven't seen it for a little while in any insider previews, and that um, made us wonder if it's um, you know something that they're actually moving away from or not. Now there's conflicting reports today about sets being removed, and it's not exactly that. Um, the problem is is the Twitter post that mentions sets is kind of saying, well, people have in, interpreted the post as there's no sets feature coming up. And that is not what it says. And actually, from uh, several sources, it would seem that sets is still in the works. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's going to happen. Maybe it can make it in the 20H1 or, or later. But um, for now... Uh, one thing for sure, it's not being tested right now, uh, but it will, or it, it's something that should be eventually um, back at some point. Uh, it's not the, the news that some uh, tech sites report is false, considering when they say that there's the sets feature is gone. It's not. Uh, it is something that they are still going to work on. Apart from that, of course, we're still on track. Uh, it's being tested. Everything seems to be working well. There's no major problems um, and that we see. That means that we're getting there. I mean, we're at the uh, last full week of uh, April. That means uh, a few weeks from now, we're going to start having the rollout of the May 2019 update. So this is going to be nice uh, for sure. So uh, everything is looking good and we are continuing to march towards the May 2019 update. Uh, if you have questions concerning the May 2019 update, don't hesitate, I'll update and, and you know make more videos of questions and answers. A lot of people like that when I uh, actually answer their questions concerning some new versions of Windows, and um, it's uh, looking good for now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.